There are two different types of eyelid surgeries I perform, upper eyelid surgery and lower eyelid surgery. What are the most common types of complaints patients who receive lower eyelid surgery have? Are the appearance of having tired eyes. Most of them either have bags under their eyes or wrinkling of skin and want to correct that position because they're tired of explaining to everyone that they're not tired. There are three different ways that I perform lower eyelid surgery. One is scarless, where I go through the inside of the eyelid and just take the bulging fat pad. The second is when I take the extra skin and pinch it at the edge of the eyelid through a tiny four millimeter incision. The third is when I make an incision a little bit larger along the lower lash line and tighten both the skin and muscle and potentially address fat as well. Before we talk about upper eyelid surgery, I think it's important to talk about what a youthful upper eyelid looks like. If you're an older patient, it's very simple. Simply pull up a photo from your 30s and take a look at your upper eyelid and notice how the volume has changed. One thing most patients will notice is that the upper eyelid has a two millimeter crease of the tarsal plate, and above that, there's fullness all the way to the brow. As we age, some patients either have growth of that fat where there's bulging, or they have atrophy of that fat where it hollows out, specifically up in the inside of the eye, what we call the A-frame deformity. Depending on how your eyelid is aged over time, determines on how we correct it. We either take out the excess bulging fat or we restore that fat by repositioning the fat you have in there or adding fat with grafting. The last thing we address is the extra skin that we need to take out. Restoring normal anatomy is the key in how you choose to correct your upper eyelids. What patients decide to get upper eyelid surgery? Some older patients wait until it's actually obstructing their visual field and it's blocking their vision. Those are obvious candidates for upper eyelid surgery. Other patients feel like they have tired upper lids or feel like they look tired in photos. Other patients actually either have known patients who have had upper eyelid surgery or smart enough to get it corrected before it becomes a serious problem.